I'm Joe Ventura, and today I'm going to be talking to everyone about blockchain. And I'm sure you guys have heard a lot about blockchain already, and it's kind of complicated. So I'm going to just try to focus on one, one key element here, uh, and hopefully kind of simplify the process a little bit for everyone. So I'm the founder and CEO. I started Alpha Point about three years ago because, well, I've been in uh, fintech for over 15 years, building a lot of systems, and we kind of had this recurring problem over and over, and it's that we all build our own systems with our own, essentially, siloed databases, and we have these great standardized protocols to communicate with each other. So imagine here, we have three different organizations. Another way to look at it could be three departments within an organization, if your organization happens to be large enough to have a suite of applications and a whole set of databases as well. So in this case here, what's great about it is A, B, and C all know how to talk to each other, but the challenge is they each need to essentially store the data in their own proprietary format. And while this may seem cool because it's secure uh, and, and because, okay, I want to keep my data proprietary, it poses a really big problem of when we want to evolve a workflow between the different entities here. And now, let's say A wants to share a new field with B, they upgrade the protocol, but now B needs to wait for their app developers to update the database schema to put the data there. So a little bit about AlphaPoint before I kind of dig a little deeper in the problem is we have over 75 years of fintech experience. We come from basically building middle and back office systems in institutional banks, and we realize that there's a really big problem between moving data across different parties that are involved with that. Our focus right now is building blockchain databases that are permissioned in a way where institutions can secure their own piece of a data in a larger, more collaborative database allowing other participants into it. So to drill in a little bit deeper on the problem, we have group A and group B, and the goal here is simply to share a record between group A and B. And how, what we could see here is there's a lot of steps in between. We have the application that needs to talk to group A's database, then convert it to a standard protocol, then convert it back to the proprietary database at group B. But what if we can switch it a little bit and as part of our standards that we agree upon and we do so well and we leverage it so much in business is we actually move the storage, the storage responsibility into the standard. And now what we can do is share the workload of developing the database application. One entity can, for instance, easily develop it and then a new participant can come in and they don't have to replicate that work increasing the amount of business that you can do with new, new participants, lowering the barrier of entry for others to consume your new service, whether it's a financial service, transactional service, or something like a supply chain management. There's literally hundreds of applications, but the essence here is the work that's required to make the application on, on company A or group A communicate with company B essentially gets shared into a common protocol. So, you know, the reason why this is possible today is basically blockchain was invented about seven years ago. We didn't know how to build databases as secure as we do now. We have extremely strong cryptography, and we see the legacy model kind of falling apart. People relying on firewalls to protect their data doesn't work anymore. We need a new um, strong, strong cryptography a uh, uh, secured database that now allows different entities to control their portions of the data and to share the portions of the data that are important to share. So this is basically the 10,000 foot view on what it looks like to engage in a new collaborative database. In the old system, A, B, and C both needed to have these heavyweight systems in order to participate in a workflow, but in the new system, all of that work is now shared, it's already developed, it's there, the code is there, the database is there, the networking protocol is there, and we simply need to connect and start to consume the APIs. So the main benefits here are we have a single truth. So there's no dispute on company A thinks the data is something and company B thinks the data is something else. There's also no single owner. We're all owners of the database. We can all own our own private data and we could all explicitly share data with others with high confidence that that data is actually being shared. And there's huge operational savings to be found 
because, uh, because basically we're reusing the work amongst multiple companies. So that's all, guys. Thank you. And if there's any more questions on how collaborative databases can help your institution, please find us at alphapoint.com. Thank you.